Why is Bunnings open? It's not open in Queensland. Uh, next question. Why is Bunnings open? We try not to burden our citizens or our businesses. Uh, we are the only government in Australia that hasn't lost a single day in, in construction. Even during uh, so-called lockdown that we had, we kept our construction sites going. You need to provide those opportunities. Can I make it very clear that New South Wales, unlike other states, uh, has never determined what is essential and what is not essential because when it comes to businesses. Lingerie stores or the palm stores are open. Is that not creating confusion as to what people should be doing? No, this, uh, the, the reason why we've extended the lockdown is because of the number of cases still infectious in the community. I don't want anyone to have a reason to leave the house. Will you shut down non-essential retail? Oh, look, I don't want to delve into hypotheticals. I heard in Melbourne have been saying overnight that if Sydney doesn't go into, you know, something equivalent to, to, the, to the strictest of rules that we saw in Melbourne last year during their lockdown, mm. we could face a lockdown running out until Christmas. Um, we've had to listen to uh, an array of experts, in inverted commas. There are those shops that are still open which all of us rely on, pharmacists supermarkets uh, well there may be there may be legitimate legitimate issues for why those are essential makes employees really powerless if their employer says you need to come to work and they say no i don't want you the premier's saying not to they're going to get the sack all of us have our role to play it doesn't matter what your circumstances are uh, well, we have harsher restrictions in place than any other state has ever had. What point do you pull that trigger and do more? Well, what we need to do more of is vaccinate people that are still mobile. But, no, but, but can, I, can I be very clear about this? Um, our best way through this at the current time is getting jabs in arms. It strikes me when I listen to some of the questions that are asked that there's a certain level of negativity. There are 12 staff members of the KFC at Punchbowl on Canterbury Road have tested positive to COVID. Does KFC need to be open? I think my major point would be minimise your exposure in those um, settings. The Teachers Federation is meeting to decide they don't, they don't want to go back for year 12. The priority of the government remains, I mean, getting people, getting children back at school and getting people working are our priorities. We'll get to a stage when you have those high rates of vaccination where you can start treating the Delta strain as you would the flu. But we have some time ahead of us to, to make sure that all of us are comfortable in talking about it in that way. We need to do more if we're going to see these case numbers drop down. I just urge people to come forward and get vaccinated. There are still pockets of people who think that this is not a serious illness.